I don't normally get scared by movies, but this one had me grabbing for my Bible. The possession of Michael King is a classic setup of a man who loses his wife to a freak accident that sends him on a spiritual journey to prove once and for all whether or not the afterlife truly exists. But his way of going about it is to create a self-taped documentary as he tries every dark magic, demon summoning spell, curse, and possession tactic he can get his hands on. From Amazon demon summoning kits to necromancy to LSD with ritualistic fortification ceremonies. Well, if you open yourself up to it, by golly, it's gonna come for you, and it certainly does. If you have a trigger or sensitivity to anything in horror movies, this one has it. And here's the deal. I wasn't that scared when watching it. It was afterwards that I started to get freaked out in my hotel room. Hit with aftershocks of what I saw and heard running through my mind. I thought I heard voices in the drain of the shower. I thought I saw shadows moving in the corner of my vision. And I swear on my life, as I was trying to fall asleep, a pop and a flash went off three times in one hour that lit the room up like daytime and scared me half to death. But after an hour of searching, I eventually narrowed it down to a faulty mini fridge. I think. I love possession movies and it had been a long time since I'd seen a really good one and I just knew I had to see it when T. Jason PVD suggested it by telling me 